What is going on, Chip Army? It is Ahmed, and I am back today with yet another video for you on. Today, guys, we're going to talk about Shiba Inu and the entire cryptocurrency market. Now, remember, as always, I like to preface by saying that I'm not a financial advisor, just putting you guys on the plays that I'm in. Smash the like button down below if you're ready for the bull run and consider subscribing to the channel where we talk about all things SHIB with a little bit of an emphasis on crypto. Now, Bitcoin at 25.9, up 6.89% on the day, 16% on the week, ETH up about 13% on the week at $1,768. Folks, pay attention to what is happening in crypto right now. This is the highest we've seen Bitcoin literally over the last pretty much seven, eight, even nine months. And what I'm guessing is we might break the year high of yes, where we were at 39, 40,000 because things have changed in crypto. Things have changed since 2022. And we had a bull run in 2021. And in 2022, we had the collapse of many different centralized exchanges, namely FTX, Voyager, and Celsius. But now what we're seeing in crypto is people getting tired of just the conventional currency that is the US dollar, that is fiat, and people are switching over to cryptocurrency. Now, pay attention to everything else, including Shiba Inu, up 6.87% on the week and currently sitting at 11,650 Satoshis. Still down significantly from what we saw at right around 15, almost 1,600, 16,000 Satoshi, excuse me, on February 4th. But a lot of things have changed for SHIB that get me excited relative to October's bull run. Because the question is, what happened between point one, October 27th, 2021, and today? All they've done between those two points was build. What happened between May 2021, the first bull run, the big bull run that we saw for SHIB, and October 2021. Within that five-month span, we saw Shiba Inu continue to build, build out an NFT collection, build out a lot of things that the community was looking for, a DEX, which is Shiba Swap. But between the 2021 bull run and now, folks, so many things have happened for SHIB. I'm talking a metaverse build out. I'm talking a layer two solution that's currently in beta. We have so much more things to look forward to, utilities and everything else coming for SHIB that excite me about it more than anything else. What you need to understand is the volume that we're seeing right now in crypto is mainly going into Bitcoin and Ethereum because retail investors are just starting to diversify their portfolios, leaving conventional stock market, leaving maybe their money in bank accounts and putting it into the two biggest, two biggest crypto assets. But what comes next? Understand that there's going to be a ripple effect. It goes from Ethereum and Bitcoin, the major co tokens in the space, and then it's going to be followed by people trying to find out what other assets to diversify into. Is it ETH? Is it SHIB? Is it BNB? So again, I think the bull case for cryptocurrency right now is insane, especially with what happened with CPI. Wall Street gains as inflation data bolsters bets of smaller rate hikes. We know in addition to the CPI data that came back today at 6%, you could see that things are looking good. February CPI in line with expectations, regional banks are rebounding, Meta rises on more layoff plans and indexes are up, including Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ. So overall, markets are coming back after what seemed to be a big scare after the failures of SVB, Silvergate, and everything else that has been occurring. But I think finally now things are calming down. People are getting excited. People are getting prepared for what is to come. And that is, again, what could be the bull market that we have been seeking as the Feds take a pivot and start reducing rates and hopefully inflation continues to curve down. Currently, inflation is at 6% from an all-time high of right around an 8.8% that we saw in 2022. Things are looking be better. Data showed that the U.S. Consumer Price Index, or CPI, rose 0.4% in February versus 0.5% a month ago. On a yearly basis, it rose 6% last month compared to 6.4% in previous months. So again, things are looking better. Again, folks, I can never tell you to buy, sell, or hold any crypto asset in the market, but I can always put you guys on the plays that I'm in. And I think right now, what we are seeing 
is retail getting prepared for something special. People are sick and tired of being sick and tired and they're getting ready to hopefully see that Bitcoin go back to all time high. 100,000, 200, 300, 400, 500,000 dollar Bitcoin has been on the table. 2025 is the anticipated date, but it could come sooner if the bull case continues to grow. Remember, people are losing faith in the US dollar. So people are trying to find commodities and other assets to diversify their portfolios into. So take advantage of knowing this information early on. As long as regulators don't try to bury crypto and hide it from everyone and not allow people to trade it actively, I think, again, the bull case grows. Now, a couple housekeeping things before you click off the video. 17 free stocks waiting for you with Moomoo. Take advantage of free money. Right now, there's a link down there. Just take advantage of it. And also, supplement your income with TQM or the quintessential millennial. I made this channel early in 2023. It's been almost about a little over two months since the channel has been created. And I know a lot of people have already started utilizing some of the methods that I've discussed on ways to supplement your income with ChatGPT, side hustles you can do from home, things to, again, add to your portfolio in addition to your crypto trades. Get excited. Be prepared. Not surprised. And as always, I do appreciate your guys' support. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And until next time, everybody, as always, keep investing. Peace.